Anytime you can you can spend a first round pick on a guy that that is deemed to be close to the big leagues, uh, you got to jump on it. I think he'll be good. His stuff is nasty. Watching him from the outfield, His stuff is close. His, his his mental makeup is close. He's a guy that can battle, get ahead, um, got great command. I've heard him say it before, trying to build off every outing and. He has good stuff. He definitely has major league stuff. He's got four pitches and he throws them all for strikes and he's definitely living up for where he was drafted and everything, that's for sure. You know, I, I tend to be conservative when, when making projections just because you, you never know. At least a number three starter, but like I said, you never know. He may he may end up being a number one. This stuff is obvious. It's four quality pitches in the strike zone. This, kid, this kid's going to be very good. With their first pick in the 2015 draft, the Yankees selected six foot four right-handed starting pitcher James Caprillion. The UCLA product led the highly competitive Pac-12 in strikeouts both in 2014 and 2015, all while developing physically and mentally. Just in that three-year span, I kind of look at the game completely different now. You know, understanding why you throw certain pitches and certain counts. Um, you know, being able to read hitters and adjust and, and establish your own routines. You might think you have it figured out when you're young in high school, but you really don't. And then as you go through that college level and, and you're on your own a little bit, um, you develop into a, uh, kind of a man a little bit. So I think it's helped me. Not only did Caprellian develop as a pitcher while at UCLA, he also learned how to pitch and succeed in the big moment. It's like shooting free throws, you know, you practice shooting free throws all the time and, and you get in those moments and kind of when you get into those big moments as your career gets going down the line, it kind of feels like you've been there before. And, um, so, you know, those big moments that I've you know been fortunate enough to be in, um, you know, I really uh, you know, think I'm able to strive in those situations now because I've you know, experienced it before. From a prominent baseball school to the most prestigious franchise in Major League history, Caprillian knows he was drafted by the right team. It was special. I mean, um, obviously the Yankees are a very prestigious organization with a lot of history, a lot of great baseball players and legends, you know, come through and, and worn the pinstripes, and, and that's something that you really can't overlook. For me, you know, it's, it's the team I loved watching when I was younger, um, so, you know, for it to be the Yankees that picked me up, it was pretty special. In three regular season starts for Staten Island, Caprillion tossed nine innings, walking two and striking out 12. He allowed just two earned runs. The right-handers display the poise that's necessary to succeed in professional baseball. You know, really the, the thing that stands out to me the most is, is his mound presence. He, uh, you know, controls the situation, controls the game. You know, I face a lot of adversity and family and baseball and growing up and all sorts of things, you know, push me uh, to, to be the person I am now. And there's a lot of stuff that I carry out in the mound with me. So, um, you know, trying to keep that poise and composure is something that's very important to me. You know, he's got good enough command with his fastball to work on both sides of the plate. Usually establishing the fastball early, you know, the higher you get up, you know, you have to be able to pitch off the fastball. And then that kind of opens up the repertoire for the rest of my pitches. And, um, you know, at that point, you can bust guys in, you know, you can change eye level, you know, pitching with the fastball up and, you know, maybe bearing one in the dirt a little bit after that. But, yeah, usually just getting ahead, you know, um, getting the leader, uh, just attacking guys. His ability to uh, throw strikes with all four of his pitches is is you know, an advanced thing at this level. You know, most guys can, uh, you know, can, they can throw strikes here or there, but they can't repeat. He has the ability to repeat. Four-pitch guy, you know, fastball, curveball, slider, changeup. Um, in a humble way, I feel really confident throwing any of those pitches in any count. I'm not going to sit here and grade out my stuff. I'll let other people do that. It's rare to find a young prospect who's as polished and advanced as James Caprillion. While his future seems bright with four average or better pitches in his repertoire, it's the intangibles that he prides himself on. I'd say the biggest thing is I'm pretty competitive. Um, you know, I don't like giving 90 feet up for free, you know, whether it's a hit or, um, you know, base on balls. You know, I'm just ultimate competitor and, you know, I want to do what I can to, to help the guys around me get better and, and uh, help the team win.